In 1997, UCSF biologist Stanley Prusner won the Nobel Prize for describing zombie-like proteins called prions. These tiny infectious agents are almost impossible to kill or disable. No known drug eradicates them. They survive on stainless steel for at least two years. Formaldehyde solutions do not harm them, and they are unaffected by heat up to 200 degrees centigrade for two hours. Prions reside in various places. They can live in the ground for years. They can also be on the grass or other food eaten by animals. As a result, prions have, at times, been found in red meat. When someone eats this infected red meat, prions can multiply in their body and wreak havoc on their immune systems. All of our cells, including the cells of our nervous system, have proteins that are susceptible to attack by prions. These proteins are very similar in shape and size to prions. The difference between the normal proteins and the prions is how they are folded. Unfortunately, when prions come into contact with the normal proteins, the normal proteins fold in a way that converts them into, amazingly enough, prions themselves. It's like a werewolf biting others and making them too into werewolves. The newly created prions then go on to attack other proteins in the body. The result is a chain reaction of prion creation that causes havoc with the normal cellular function, particularly the function of the immune system. Ultimately, these tiny prion invaders can literally turn our brains to mush. Prions cause a variety of diseases in humans and animals. They cause scrapie in sheep and goats and mad cow disease in cows, and a variant of the dreaded Creutzfeldt-Jakob disease in humans. In addition, Alzheimer's disease seems to be closely related to these prion diseases in its physical expression. It, too, involves the disintegration of the brain and nervous system. Thus, Alzheimer's disease could also be partially or fully prion caused. The bad news is that cows, goats, and sheep can have prion diseases, and the prions can end up in the meat from these animals. We don't always know which cows, goats, and sheep are infected with prions because it takes years for the disease to become apparent. As a result, prion-carrying animals have, at times, been slaughtered for human food. And the really bad news is that if you get just one prion in your body, it can start a cascade of damage that eventually makes your nervous system non-functional. This can take 20 or 30 years to happen. It's a relentless process of slow degeneration. There is, however, some very good news. You can reduce to almost zero your chance of getting the dreaded prion diseases. All you have to do is stop eating red meat and red meat products. Don't forget to watch our other videos on red meat's harmful effect on your health and the health of our planet. This is Dr. Mike Martin wishing you a long, healthy, and happy life. Thanks for listening.